In my experience, there are two reasons people don't get sales. And these are the main reasons that I find in any organisation. The first one is that people don't believe in themselves. They have limiting beliefs about themselves, their skills, their capabilities. So many times I'll hear, oh, I'm, I'm rubbish at the phone. Well, every time, every conversation. You know, I, um, I did a training just before Christmas and there was, uh, it was an in-company training and this group of people were sitting around the desk and there was this girl sitting there, she said, oh, I'm not a salesperson. She got the most sales in that organisation. But the label of salesperson was very unsavoury to her. And she said, I'm not a salesperson at all. And I said, okay, so what is it you do? She said, well, I talk to the people that ring in, I find out what they want, I give them what they want, and then I get the business. And I said, do you know what? You carry on doing that. <laughs> And so, think about the frame that you're giving yourself, the outcome that you give yourself. So, limiting beliefs, as I refer to them, is one reason that people don't get sales. Probably the biggest, in my experience. And then there's another that um, we call cause and effect. Has anyone come across cause and effect before? Okay. When somebody is in effect, then that means that they're saying things to themselves like, oh, there's a recession out there, there's nobody spending any money, um, it's really hard. They're using language that is quite negative and they're blaming everybody outside of themselves. Now, we can all be guilty of that. You know, we can always say, look, there's people who've frozen their budgets. Yeah, fine, they have. I'm not saying, you know, deny that that's happening. But as soon as you start believing your own reasons and excuses for why you're not succeeding, then that is referred to as being in effect. And what that means, really, is that you become a victim. You are a victim of all those things that are happening out there. And as soon as you believe that, then you just fold your arms and you don't do anything. Because it's not worth it, is it? There's no point in doing anything. Because it's all that stuff out there is stopping me from getting what I want. Self-fulfilling prophecy. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy, absolutely. But there is another way to be. You can be at cause. And when you are at cause, it's, well, yeah, there's all that stuff happening out there. Yeah, people aren't spending, you know, they're holding on to their cash a bit longer. Some businesses aren't spending like they used to. And then, you know, it's accepting that those things are out there and then saying, what can I do about it? How can I still get what I want? We did some research last year. And, you know, for every £100 that was being spent a couple of years ago, £94.50 is still being spent, or it certainly was last September. That figure may have changed. So for every £100 that was being spent when everything was all OK, the economy was all OK, £94.50 was still being spent in business. Amazing. It is absolutely amazing. So if you're there, you're thinking no one's spending any money. Here you're thinking, oh, how do I get some of that £94.50? <laughs> you know, if you can make money in any economy. So think about how you frame things and it will allow you much more flexibility in terms of, yeah, I've got to do that. Oh, I don't really want to. What's holding me back? Oh, it's that. I don't want to be rejected if I make those phone calls. Well, actually, it's not about rejection. Let's just start developing some relationships and you find yourself becoming more comfortable. Instead of wanting a sale at the end of every call or an appointment, let's just explore how this relationship could develop. Every time I pick up the phone, I consider myself someone like Sherlock Holmes, a bit of a detective. I really want to find out about that person. Now, does that change the way I feel when I pick up the phone? You bet. It's like a new little adventure every time. <laughs>